Okay, builders, Andy is already here. Welcome to a two player survival base complete with enchantment room, chests, a nice big room which we're going to go into here. Look, quick, quick, quick preview. There you go. There's the main rooms two players, a portal, and a pretty cool, I think you'll agree, semi circular garden with animal pens underneath. So, how do you build this? Right, I'm going to go for my fam famous, famous tower. Those little blocks at the bottom in that arrangement, stone bricks, and it's going to be 24 blocks high. So let's speed up little Yoda. There you go. 24 blocks high in that little arrangement. Around the top, we're going to put upside down stone brick stairs to bring it out by one. Cover that stair layer with a layer of stone bricks, and then add your little crenellations on top. If I spin the camera around, you can see exactly how they are laid out. Pretty simple, uh, I think you'll agree. And in the background, you can see my four player survivor base. If you haven't seen that, or you've got more than one friend, very lucky if you have, then <laughs> you could build a four player survivor base as well. Add bricks to the top of the tower, leaving one gap for a stair, or a ladder, I should say. And then down below, we want to make a gap of 17. This is the important number, a gap of 17 between the towers. Once you've built your second tower, come up by five logs on the front. So that's the front where you can see the logs, and I've put some logs on the back as well. So I'm going to refer to that as the front of my tower uh, from now on. Uh, now, those blocks of birch upper slab, the key was, the key numbers were two and six. What do I mean by two and six? Well, let me show you again. So five blocks of wooden log here, and then Two blocks, ignore that block, but two blocks there, and I want to three, four, five, six. You see it comes out by two and then goes right to six, and then it just wraps round exactly uh, as I've done there. Fill in your little upper slabs of birch. I do like this birch. It gives a really nice, fresh, light color compared to the dark oak and the stone bricks as well. Fill all that in once that's down and in, you're ready for the next stage. Now we're gonna do just four blocks of wooden log, four blocks up like that on both towers, on front and back. Hello, sheepy. <laughs> Big shout out to my sponsors of this video, by the way, uh, Pickle Hosting. Thank you very much to them. Brilliant hosts for a Minecraft server. Use the code AndyJoda for 15% off. And as you can see, our next little stage is just simply birch fences, which wrap around the entire build. Come on, Yoda, get your little errors done. There you go. Uh, excellente. What's next? Oh, yes. Spruce upside down stairs and then three more logs. Kind of like a Y arrangement. And this is going to hold up the um, layer above the main living quarters that you can see. Copy that arrangement there. Pause the video if you need to. That's a pretty easy stage. There we go. There's our third extra log and three spruce stairs on each side. So that needs to be repeated on the back uh, and the front of each tower. So a lot of Yoda's gonna whiz about and do that for us automatically. Okay, now we're gonna count out one, two, three, four. Well, the next level up, above the Y, the next level up, three lots of four, and then either side of them, you've got some fives to bring it all nice and level. And then I'm gonna place a temporary block kind of in the middle here, and then place some more logs, but finish one short of the end. And again, one short, temporary block, and then finish one short. So it makes this kind of almost like a circle, uh, this upper base, the main room of your survival base, where you'd have your important chests, your important items, and your bed, and whatnot. Okay, so if you didn't get that, we're gonna skip around to the back and do exactly the same thing again. So it's one, two, three, four. That's the important thing, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then fives on the side, because it's obviously indented from the tower by one. And then three more layers, each time finishing one short to kind of bring it into a circle. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. There we go, on the side, that is that done. Went nice and slow for you there, so you could easily copy up. Right, grab some uh, oak wood into your hand. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five near the front. Two diagonals, and then one, two, three, four, five. And the five at the sides should really finish at the sides there. But the fives in the front and the back should have a little bit of space in front of them. So it looks exactly like that. Five, two, five, two, five, two, five. There we go. 
Now I'm just building up, um, oh, I'm adding on the left and the right five more blocks of logs sticking out from the left and right. Now I'm just bringing up and adding three blocks to the diagonals all the way around. You won't see me when I'm at the back, but it's just the diagonals I'm working on. And then I'm coming in one block from the diagonal and bringing them up by three blocks as well. In fact, I think this bit would be easier if we just switched into Yoda's head and we saw him place the blocks like that. There we go. Um, these blocks are wrong at the back. I made a little mistake there <laughs> and paused and going, hmm, hmm, mistake I have made. And then I have to go back to the front here to work out what I've done. And then I think, well, while I'm, while I'm at the front, let's stick the windies in, windy, windy. Uh, and then windows at the back. So these blocks are now correct, like that. And then some windows at the back. Mm, do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> uh, doors at the sides. Windows at the fronts and backs. So here's some more doors at the sides. And I think I'm actually going to use birch wood doors, which I've never really used in any of my default easy build series. I've never done any birch doors. So I thought, let's do some birch doors. <laughs> you only live once. <laughs> Talking to birch, birch slabs, they just sit on the outside upper slabs to make the roof here really simple. They just sit on the edges like that. The next layer sits on top of the oak wood. Like that, all the way around. Going nice and slow here so you can see the first layer was on the oak wood on the sides. The next layer up was on top of the oak wood. The next layer makes a continuous, a continuous line of birch as if you could walk along this layer and not fall off. Um, unlike the layers below. So it's a continuous layer there, and then just some three more blocks on top. One, two, three, diagonal. Cover up the spaces. One, two, three, diagonal. One, two, three, and then a diagonal. Let me just spin the camera around so you can get a good look at that roof. Quite a sneaky little design, I think. Pretty simple, though. Makes a fine looking survival tower, or starter base, or two player base, whatever you want to call this. Um, I had a balcony on the left-hand side, but I don't put a balcony on the other side. There we go. Right, time for the nether portal in the middle. Um, what I want to do is make a kind of a, um, a staircase made of birch. And I'm going to kind of shut up and let you see this now. It goes up by four plus one in the middle and then down by four. So simple as. Not easy to build sometimes. <laughs> slabs hanging in midair. But this comes to one of the shared resources. So there's a lot of shared resources. Shared garden, well, not garden, shared farm, shared uh, vault downstairs as well we can build later on. Enchantment room, brewing room, we could add into this. Uh, but a shared nether portal right in the middle as well. A couple of little birch supports underneath and then birch fence time. Can't really explain what to do. You have to just freeze frame this and just copy exactly. I'm um, doing it, or just go your own, do your own, get inspired by me, you don't have to copy it. That's a, friend, a French, <laughs> a fence at the front. <laughs> Not easy to say that. Do a fence at the back as well, I've kind of skipped over that. Six blocks sticking out from the back of your towers, or the side of the towers, but the back block of the three. And then make yourself a little obsidian um, portal here. Uh, I kind of mess up slightly here. I make the obsidian portal a little bit too long. So bear with me a couple of seconds of video footage here where uh, Yoda's wrong. <laughs> I'm destroying the fence and everything, which is not right. You don't need to destroy the fence at the back. You just need to get your... Come on, Andy. Well, maybe you do need to destroy the, f the fence, do you? I think you do, because we're going to put um, stone brick slabs underneath. So there's the right size for the nether portal. In other words, the actual portal itself is three by four. That's the most efficient way of building a portal to the nether. And then upside down stone brickus uh, like that, just to surround the portal. Same on top. Now let's pull the camera right through the portal here so you can see the stone brick slabs on the bottom and stone brick slabs on the top as well. Finishing off a couple of more stairs and more stone brick slabs, as I say, on the top, and that is the portal done. Just remains for me to light it. Cool, and now we're on to the semi-circular little, um, what would you call this, farm? <laughs> I 
the farm and the animal pens down below. So the fence needs to go four blocks, and then I'm gonna go for four blocks of birch, then three, then three. So it's four, three, three, then two, two, and two. Come on, one more, there's a two. This last one turns a corner and turns into a three going left to right. Another three going left to right. And then a four going left to right. One, two, three, four. And that should line up with the center. I've slapped down a yellow block to mark out the center of the build. And you can do that and you should find out it ends up just like that. So if you missed that, let me show this again. Four bits of fence. On the fourth bit of fence, you count four slabs. One, two, three, four. Then a three. Then a three. Then a two. Then a two. Then a two. So it's four, three, three, two, two, two. The last two turns into a three going left to right, another three going left to right, and then a four going left to right. So feel free to rewind that if you missed it. Okay, so what we want to do now is um, destroy one slab and bring up some supports. Doesn't matter too much where you do it, but you can copy me exactly if you wish. Just kind of see which ones are destroyed. And then a birchy fancy all the way around. Stop you falling off your farm. Oh, what I haven't done is provide a way up to this um, base. So you can either have some doors that come in right at the bottom. You could have a slime jumpy thing where you press a button and the slime piston, the piston with the sl slime thing pushes you, bounces you up into the base. I've done that before. Or you could just provide some stairs. Simple as. Depends on how many things are going to be attacking you in the night. Animal pens underneath. Very easy. Just making a little um, square here with four animal pens. Plenty of gates, gate like there, and then that's four animal pens once it's divided into four like that, and then some more gates into each one. I'm just opening those gates so you can see exactly where they are. Let's move the camera up and you get a good look at exactly where those animal pens are. Some sheepies going in. All right, so now it's time to do the actual farm. Please ignore the next few seconds where I spam some yellow wool. I'm just kind of measuring things out, making sure I've got everything correct. But what we want to do is just fill this space in now with dirt. So quick use of a world edit command for me. Uh, spams my dirt into place. There we go. Saving time in the video. Now, you want to hydrate each square of your farm, which means you need to put water. Uh, this arrangement of water that I determined here, count four blocks and then take away the birch, and then we're going to go for one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and then zip it round. I know, three twos, so it's three, three, two, 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 so it's three, three, two, 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 and then zip it round. And that, that arrangement of water in the gaps there means that every single dirt square in this uh, semicircle will be hydrated and you'll be able to grow crops uh, and vegetables and so on uh, in this arrangement. So I'm quite proud of this arrangement. Uh, I had to do my research and find out how many blocks away from water you could still grow your crops. So just put some birch underneath the gaps to contain the water. Seal that in, splash in your water. And um, we're going to skip right into first person mode, have a good look around this base and see what we can do underground but that is the farm ready for some crops and there we go pretty much done just the basement area to do this is what the farm would look like now of course we need some entrance ways into our build same on the other side as well for your mate's house and let's put a little floor across here boom, 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 boom. And then some ladders going down to somewhere where you would store your chests and so on. And then you can bring your ladders up, 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 right to the very top, of course. But we also need to come into here as well and make our little base. So open that door, hack away that. Uh, can't hack away the back, but we can hack away that and that. And this gives you a little bit of a floor space up here. Just bring that across there, one, two, three. This is where you put your bed or your special chests. So you've got that level, you've got this level, and you've got the, the level at the top. Now down here in the basement, I'm not gonna tell you how to dig out your basement. Let me just do slash top and fly over to the one I made up here for the thumbnail. Um, I don't wanna take away the creativity too much. I want you guys to do your own Canet basement. All I've done here is dig down 
and then obviously this is just cut away so if it wasn't cut away you'd have a normal wall right there obviously um, so what do you need you need an enchantment room you need somewhere to store all your stuff and you need a brewing room and whatever else you want you could have rooms going off there as well and don't forget you can dig down even further maybe for a mine shaft you can go along and dig and you never know you might find some precious <laughs> I fell <laughs> thank you so much for watching hopefully oh, hurry up hurry up come on fly fly up Hopefully, hopefully, if I had gone that way, I would have got diamonds. I went that way, I got gold. Never mind. Hopefully this has inspired you. Hopefully you're going to build something similar. Um, if you want a four-person survival base, check out my other video in the Easy Build series. Hopefully it's in the Easy Build series. I think it is. A four-person survival base right there. What do you think of that? This has the slime button things where you have to watch that video to work out how to use these, I think. But you just stand there, press the button. And it, fi <laughs> it fires you up. Come on. What is going on? This normally works. Is there lag? What has happened? Oh, I didn't even put the pistons. Did I not put the pistons? There's, it does help if you've got a sticky piston underneath your slime booster, guys. I didn't copy that in properly when I copied the whole thing into the map. Oh, by the way, over there is a single person survival tower base as well. Check out that video. So you've got that video to check out. You've got this video to check out. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, do me a favor and drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you very shortly. Ciao, ciao. May the blocks be with you.